Okay, our second piano is a beautiful 1919 Steinway Model M. The Model M is a 5 foot 7 inch piano. Uh, we generally regard the Model M as more of a medium sized piano. This particular piano is in a beautiful mahogany finish and also has a little bit of a different look to it. Uh, one of the first things that people notice is that it, the trim is silver as opposed to uh, brass or gold in color. And if we look at the plate on the inside of the piano, instead of it having more of a polished brass look, it has sort of a burnished brass look. That was the original look of this particular plate. The piano is in, is in good condition, um, not quite as clean and pristine of a condition as the previous Model S that we just looked at. But it is in very good condition and has, some, has had some work done on it in the past. Uh, was rebuilt approximately 40 or 50 years ago, is that right? Yeah, roughly. Um, the keys are not the original ivory key tops. These are, uh, these keys have been resurfaced with the plastic that um, of the 40, 50 year ago nature as it tends to uh, get a little bit more yellow than our modern plastics do. Still has the original logo on it and the original look to it. I'll play a little bit um, We'll start with a little bit um, of a different tune to show, again, some of the delicacy of the piano, some of its ability to, to have a wide range of tonal color. First thing that comes to mind compared to the Model S that we looked at previously, it, it's not quite as smooth of an action. So it, it feels good, but it does not feel as close to a new piano as the Model S does. And as we get into the bass, we have a pretty nice bass, but it is a little, this piano overall is a little brighter in sound. The hammers are a little harder and more compact after years of playing and so it is a little bit brighter. Um, let's try a little different tune here. the key of C. Now that's a, a good piece to show some of the some of the strengths of this piano. Again I think it overall sounds really good. Uh, it's just not going to be quite as refined of a sound and not quite as easy to control the sound on this piano as it is on the Model S that we played previously. And so I think that about does it for the Model M 1919.